I'm gonna walk you through layer by layer so that you can take this design and edit it in whatever way you would like to, changing the player, the background, and even the colors. At the end of the video, I'm even gonna give you the free design file along with the EA Sports College Football video game logo files so that you can edit this in whatever way you would like to. Now, if that sounds good, go ahead and drop a like on the video and let's go ahead and jump in. So to start off the process, I went into Adobe Illustrator. I dragged in a couple of promo images from the game. From there, I recreated the entire image from scratch using different shapes within Illustrator. If you're interested in learning more about the process for recreating this logo, go ahead and leave a comment down in the comments and I'd be happy to create a video walking you through how you can do that in Adobe Illustrator. But I ended up creating these two high resolution logo files and you'll be able to download those at the link in the description. Now, once I had the logo files, I copied and pasted them into Adobe Photoshop. And you can see my complete project right here featuring Bryce Young. So I'm gonna start off today turning off some of the different folders so that you can see the layers that we're working with in this design. So here I have a folder titled Logos. Beneath that we have Overlays. And our Overlays file contains all of the different paint mark overlays, including the splatter behind the EA Sports logo. Then we have our Player. And our Player features a cutout of Bryce Young but it also features a white jagged line background and that's to add some contrast and mimic the style of pro football focuses design and then we get to our background and our background is where we have our stadium image again you'll be able to replace this image with your own image so that you can match whatever style that you would like to we also have a color overlay that allows you to change the color of this image. So I think it would be good to walk you through the process of how you could update this design file for yourself. So to start off, I decided to Google an image of Tennessee quarterback Joe Milton. So I'm gonna copy this image from Google and paste it directly into Photoshop, hitting Command V. Now you can see the sizing does not look quite right and that's completely fine. I'm gonna right click on this layer and hit convert to smart object. And what that allows me to do is to prevent the image from being reduced in resolution when I try to scale it back up later. For now, I'm going to name this layer and then I'm gonna hit command T on my keyboard and drag to resize the image to the size that I would like it to be. I'm gonna to try to match the sizing of my Bryce Young image as best as I can and Something like that looks pretty good. Once I'm done, I can hit this check mark up here, and now I have this Joe Milton image inserted into my design. Now, the first step is to cut out this image, and thankfully, Photoshop makes this super simple. I'm gonna go over here to my left-hand column where there's a brush with a dotted circle beneath it. This is called the Quick Selection Tool. I'm gonna click on this, and then you'll notice in the top bar, there's a button that says Select Subject. I'm gonna hit select subject, and you can see Photoshop does a really good job of outlining my image. Now there are a few manual tweaks that I'll need to make. I'm gonna hit command and plus to zoom in, and you can see in this top left hand corner we have the plus and minus brushes to add or subtract from our selection. I'm gonna choose subtract, and then go through and remove this section here, and then zoom back out. One more section that it looks like we need to cover is this part right here and that seemed to do a pretty good job. Once we have that taken care of, I can then go over to the layer mask button on the bottom right hand corner. Now when you press that button, it's gonna cut it out from the background, but thankfully in a way that we can go back and edit it later if we need to. I wanna add a couple more things to this Joe Milton image before proceeding with the rest of the design. I find when you pull images off of Google, a lot of times they can be blurry or less sharp. And so one of the things I love doing is going to filter sharpen and smart sharpen. And what that allows us to do is sharpen up the image so it feels more crisp within our design. Now that we have the image how we want it, I'm gonna hide it and then we can go through and hide some of the layers and drag the image down. So I'm going to turn off the logo file for now, the overlays, and I'm gonna open up our player folder. I'm then gonna drag our Joe Milton image down right beneath our Bryce Young image. And for now, I'm going to open that up and hide our Bryce Young image. So you can see here, we have our Joe Milton image and it still has the Bryce Young outline. So we're just gonna hide that as well. So now we have this Joe Milton image and I think this looks pretty good. 
Now the process of adding this white outline that we had to our Bryce Young image is actually pretty simple. And I'm gonna walk you through that now. To start off, I'm gonna create a new layer and you can do that by hitting this add new layer button in Photoshop. I'm then gonna drag it beneath my Joe Milton image and then hit P on my keyboard to bring up the pen tool. From here, I can start by clicking into my image and just create a rough jagged line around the player. Remember, we're trying to emulate the paper cutout effect, so it would be great if we could make it not the most precise, just something that really emphasizes the jagged lines. I can then hit the final point to connect, and then I'm gonna hit shape. And you can see this created a white outline around my image. Now you might have something different and that is completely fine. I'm gonna show you how to get to where we want to go for this. I'm gonna go over and hit this rectangle tool. And then if you go up to the top bar, you should see something that mirrors what you're seeing within your design. So you can see right now my fill is set to nothing and my stroke is set to white. And so as a result, my selection is showing a white outline with no fill. I'm gonna change this by choosing a white fill and no outline. And now you can see we have that applied to our image. I might scale this down a little bit by hitting Command T and scaling it in just to make it feel closer to my image. And then overall, I think that looks pretty good. I'm gonna name this layer outline. And now we have our Joe Milton image with the outline. From here, I'm going to close the player folder and apply the overlays. And you can see the overlays don't necessarily match this image and that's okay. If I open up the overlays folder, you can see there are four different areas that I can select. Each one, with, each one is currently red. And so what I can do is click into this rectangle here and choose whatever color I would like. So for example, if I wanna choose the orange from his jersey, I can hover over his uniform and click orange. I can then copy that same hex code by clicking into the rectangle and hitting Command C and apply that to all of my different layers, just like that. Now, one thing I would like to note is you can change this to any color you would like to. So for example, these X's in the top left corner, if I'd like them to be white, I can select white. If I want the X's in the bottom right corner to be purple, I can choose purple. You have complete creative control over every element within this design. Now that we have our overlays, we can turn back our logo file. And you can see that actually looks pretty good. Now we need to change the stadium in the background of our image. And so I'm gonna open up the background layer. And here you can see there are some different layers, but the one I wanna start with is the stadium layer. I'm gonna double click on this icon right here, and that'll open up an image of the stadium. I can then go to Google and find an image that I'd like to replace that image with. And I just found this image of Neyland Stadium. I'm just gonna hit copy and paste that directly into Photoshop. I'm gonna hit Command T and scale it up to cover the full image. And that looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna X out of this layer by hitting this X button right here, and it's gonna ask me to save changes. And I'm gonna hit save. And you can see my stadium was updated in the background of the image in real time. Super cool. Now let's say I wanna change the color overlay for that stadium. I can click on this rectangle here and change to whatever color I would like to. I could do a gray, and I honestly like the way that looks. Or you could slide up and choose a different red tone or green or yellow or whatever it may be. The full color spectrum is available for you to choose from. For my purposes today, I'm gonna stick with this light blue. And that's it guys. That's how you can update my EA Sports college football video game cover design to your own player and color choice. Now, if you enjoyed this video and learned something new, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. If you wanna help support the channel so that we can continue putting out awesome videos just like this, I put a link to our Patreon down in the description. I would greatly appreciate it if you guys could consider supporting the channel in whatever way you can. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.